The Snapdragon 898, the upcoming flagship chipset from Qualcomm, is expected to power some ultra-premium devices next year. It has already been confirmed, that the chipset is going to be manufactured using Samsung's 4 nanometers process, and will have a 20% increment in performance. We have already seen some leaks, showcasing the performance of the Exynos 2200, which is expected to be strong competitor for the Snapdragon 898, and now today, we have the first Geekbench scores of Snapdragon 898, featured on a Vivo flagship smartphone with model name, Vivo V2102A. From the benchmark, it seems the chipset has scored 720 points for single-core test, and 1,919 for multi-core test. It has to be noted that both scores are significantly lower than its predecessor. As per earlier leaks, the Snapdragon 898 should at least be 20% faster than the Snapdragon 888, which isn't reflected in the above results. The lower performance could be due to it, being an engineering sample and the smartphone running unstable firmware. Alternatively, the test could have been run with battery saving mode enabled, which usually throttles the CPU heavily. Or the most probable reason, could be that the cores were underclocked, the normal operating frequency of the chipset. The benchmark also reveals about the Snapdragon 898's core configuration. It seems, that the Prime Cortex-X2 core will be clocked at 2.42 GHz, while not named explicitly, the Cortex-A710 and Cortex-A510 cores, are clocked at 2.17 GHz and 1.79 GHz, respectively. These numbers further prove, that the Snapdragon 898 sample in question, isn't running at its maximum potential. We found out earlier that the Cortex-X2 core, in particular, can go as high as 3.09 GHz. To put things in perspective, the Snapdragon 888's Cortex-X1, Cortex-A78 and Cortex-A55 cores were clocked at 2.7 GHz, 2.4 GHz and 1.7 GHz, respectively. Lastly, the listing also confirms that the new Qualcomm SoC will run an Adreno 730 GPU. So it seems what we have here, is an underclocked engineering sample, and we expect these benchmark score to improve drastically, as it gets tuned to the ideal clock speed and the mass production kicks off. As learned earlier, the production of Snapdragon 888 will be split between Samsung and TSMC, and it appears that the plus variant of the Snapdragon 898 processor may hit the market as early as the second quarter of 2022. Interestingly, Vivo will be among the first few brands to launch a smartphone powered by Snapdragon 898. We will have more information in this regard, when the processor gets officially unveiled in December Qualcomm Summit. So guys that's pretty much we have here for now, we would love to know your thoughts on this. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative, and if you did, Hit the like button and stay subscribed for more.